couple of fire damages a building at a popular Colorado camp. And now there's a lot of campers, some from out of the country, wondering what to do next. We are covering Colorado in Jefferson County. That fire damaged the lodge at the Ramah in the Rockies camp between Bailey and Deckers. A lot of campers were there. Some are now being housed at a synagogue in Denver. Tom Mustin is live there and found out they're playing, playing waiting game after their cell phones and passports burned to that fire. So Tom, what's next? Well, if you look behind me, you can see campers are packed up once again and ready to move out, this time to Elbert County, where they'll stay until the camp ends next week. Now, as for those passports, camp directors tell me they've talked to several different embassies and they're taking care of that problem. But they say the big takeaway is the fact that after a night of bravery from firefighters and counselors, no one was seriously hurt. Campers from Vermont in the Rockies let off steam in Denver after a sleepless night near Deckers. Oh, that was perfect. The camp incorporates outdoor education to help teach Jewish values. Early Monday morning, a massive fire destroyed the camp kitchen and dining hall. You could feel the heat from like almost a football field away. Rabbi Eliav Bach grabbed a fire extinguisher and tried to put out the flames. About a minute, we thought we actually were gonna be able to have it under control and then just started moving faster and faster. Bach and others woke up the 130 campers and moved them to a safer area. Minutes later, cell phone video shows the campers singing and chanting. And the counselor is really operating at a level that they could never train for. Firefighters quickly knocked down the flames. The campers and staff come from across the globe. And the fire destroyed countless cell phones and 20 passports. I'm going to work with the, uh, with the Israeli embassy. I think we have a few workers from Hungary and Poland, and we'll work with their embassies as well. Staff member Michael Harlow says everyone remained calm while being relocated to the Hebrew Educational Alliance in Denver. You're doing that like 24 hours after evacuating. That says something about you. And parent Hartley Lachter agreed. It's a unique community that they've built, and the way that everyone dealt with this incredibly scary situation has reinforced that for me. So it's been quite a past few days for these campers. Meanwhile, I just got off the phone with North Fork Fire. They tell me they still don't have a cause for the blaze, but they don't suspect anything suspicious. We're live in Denver. Tom Mustin, CBS 4 News. Thank you, Tom.